Uh, Bill, this question's for you, not as long as John's, but um, you touch a lot on the connectivity between the US and China and Australia. Um, what about Europe? You know, are they out of the woods yet, for example, and, and does that, you know, what's, this, what's your prognosis of Europe and its effect on, on us, possibly? Oh, look, I think <coughs> Europe's glory days of having a major impact on us are behind us, and that, of course, was 2011, when there was the fear of the breakup, the breakup of the euro at a time when spreads between Italian bonds and, and German bonds blew out by 6%, uh, Spanish bonds by 4.5%, and that, of course, emanated all through the world economy. This time, with the fear that Greece was going to leave, Spanish bonds blew out by about 50 basis points, Italians by about 40. So really, the impact upon of the periphery leaving Europe and a major impact it was going to have on the global economy didn't happen and is unlikely to happen again. So Europe's major potential for us was through the financial markets rather than through the direct trade route. Um, and I think those concerns are now behind us because we know that the European authorities will fight tooth and nail to keep Greece in, which is a great disservice to the Greek people. But if they were to leave and devalue their currency and, and walk away from the 320 billion euros in debt, sell some assets, maybe in three years' time, Greece would be a lot more prosperous than some of the other countries that are adopting austerity, and then you'd have some political issues in those other countries. Um, so I think if we think about the European economy as a whole, uh, we've been mildly surprised that things have looked a bit better. You know, we're predicting 1% growth in Europe, uh, whereas maybe six months ago we would have predict predicted a quarter of a percent. Uh, Spain in particular is embracing uh, uh, deregulation. We heard Rob talk about the labour market. Well, in Spain, the two things that we've done in our labour market, uh, we've made unfair dismissal laws unbelievably tight now. In Spain, they've deregulated them. Um, we've moved away from workplace agreements. In Spain, they've moved towards workplace agreements. Spain's unemployment rates come down from 25% to 20%. Ours has gone up. Uh, so there's parts, there's some good stories in Europe at the moment. Um, even France has defies logic by continuing to, to grow reasonably well. So it's a huge economic mass. Its volatility is a lot lower than, than, than obviously China and even than the US. So in terms of a major swing factor for the world economy, I don't think it's going to be in Europe and particularly now that I don't think they're going to create financial sector issues for us. Um, uh, so, yeah, a gradual improvement in Europe, but, but not the, the big story that, that will come out of the US and, and, uh, and China in the next couple of years.